So, what else has been going on? Well, Vladimir Putin wants to blow up the world. Vladimir Putin delivers a menacing new warning. Once again, using nuclear threats over his war in Ukraine. If the territorial integrity of our country is threatened, then to defend Russia and our people, we shall, of course, use all means at our disposal. I am not bluffing. Fucking ooh! <laughs> ooh! He, he's not bluffing. Mate, the bit that got me was this. Our country, too, has different weapons of destruction. In some cases, they are more modern than those of NATO. Modern weapons? You sat next to a fax machine. <laughs> I will blow you to smithereens if you think I'm bluffing page me. <laughs> or call me on my Nokia 3310. <laughs> I shouldn't joke. We've actually got a photo of one of their devastating nukes. <laughs> Let's be honest, it's difficult to believe anything for Russia. Who could forget when they unveiled this incredibly lifelike dancing robot? <laughs> Pretty impressive until you find out the high tech robot turned out to be a man in a suit. <laughs> <laughs> it's nuts. I mean, this is a country so corrupt that last year Putin was named Russia's hottest man. <laughs> How? He looks like Dobby the neo Nazi used. <laughs> Putin's not just getting his nukes ready, he's also announced mass mobilisation. Mr Putin confirmed plans to mobilise 300,000 reservists to boost his badly depleted force. And how's that gone down? The announcement has prompted some protests in Russia and a spike in demand for plane tickets abroad. People deserted Moscow so quickly, it was like Putin said, ''Welcome to the stage, R. Kelly.'' <laughs> <laughs> They weren't just trying to leave. Have you seen some of the things people were willing to do to avoid joining the army? How to break arm became the top Google trend <laughs> as Russians face conscription. <laughs> top Google trend! <laughs> Think about that. It was more popular than porn. <laughs> do you know how bad your ideas have to be <laughs> to make young men look away from porn. <laughs> right, mate? <Wait. laughs> and to be honest... Sorry. But to be honest, I don't blame them. It's Putin's war. Why should they die for it? If Liz Truss declared war on Wales, I'd be on a mega bus to Spain with my arm like, fucking that. <laughs> His war is so unpopular. Look at the latest group he's trying to recruit. In prison camps across Russia, this mercenary chief, a close Putin ally, has been recruiting inmates to fight in Ukraine. Prisoners! <laughs> now, I'm no expert. I'm not sure they'll make a great army. <laughs> Where are the weapons? <laughs> Sir guy nicked them. <laughs> You've put them on eBay, we're in a real mess. <laughs> the whole thing is all over the shop. Luckily, Joe Biden responded to Putin's threat with a lengthy battle cry that will strike fear into his heart. As Ukraine succeeds on the battlefield, Vladimir Putin is becoming embarrassed and pushed into a corner. And I wonder, Mr. President, what you would say to him if he is considering using chemical or tactical nuclear weapons. Don't. <laughs> there you go. War's over. Don't. Mate. He's a crazy dictator. He's not a dog about to eat a birthday cake. <laughs> and not only is Biden bad with words, he gets lost trying to leave a stage. Thank you. <laughs> Roger, he wasn't the only dodgery old coot getting involved. Boris Johnson 
offer these profound words. Thanks also, of course, to the inspirational leadership of, of Vladimir Putin, uh, uh, sorry, the inspirational leadership of uh, Vladimir Zelensky. Uh, <laughs> you can take the man out of office, you can't take the twat out of a man. <laughs> these are worrying times. Have you seen what's happened to some of Putin's critics? Since invading Ukraine, eight oligarchs close to Putin have died suspiciously. His opponents have ended up stabbing themselves, shooting themselves. One of them even zipped himself inside a suitcase. <laughs> I mean, who really believes that this is the truth? Russian oligarch dies after taking poisonous toad venom to treat hangover. <laughs> Nobody has ever done that. Oh, I had a big night last night. Paracetamol? Nah. I'm gonna drink some killer toad spunk. <laughs> First to extract the sweet, sweet cure. <laughs> Someone's got to do something. The man is insane. Listen to this childhood story. Спускался, на крысу увидел, начал ее гонять, загнал ее в какой-то угол. Она развернулась и побежала за мной. И не просто побежала, она еще с, с лестницы на лестницу, э с перелета на перелет пыталась прыгнуть мне на голову. Вот это все должны иметь в виду. Лучше никогда никого в угол не загонять. That's not your childhood, mate. That is the plot of Ratatouille. <laughs> Mind you, if he does become a gymnastic rodent, we can always attack him with his own weapon. <laughs> so, why is Putin behaving so unpredictably? Well, apparently he's ill, and the medication he's on can trigger anxiety, hallucinations, and even cause the patient to imagine things that aren't real, like the time he saw a rat doing parkour. <laughs> His paranoia is so intense that Putin's guards collect his poo on trips abroad and take it back to Russia. Ooh, indeed, madam. Ooh, indeed. That's why the word ooh was invented. So many questions. Do they fish them out of the toilet? Does he do it in the road like a dog? And how do you get that job? How do you like somebody must have seen them pick up shit and went, you could do that professionally? <laughs> I'll say this now, they must watch him like a hawk when he's eating. Imagine that. Oh, he's gone back to the fucking buffet, Dave. <laughs> Is that chili con carne? <laughs> Sophia, cancel my Monday. Fucking gremlin guts is going for it. <laughs> now, even if Putin does launch a nuke, fear not, my friends. Luckily, British people will be fine because Yuri Geller warns Vladimir Putin he will use mind power to deflect <laughs> and turn back any nuclear warheads aimed at Britain. Don't worry, Britain, we're safe. <laughs> a 1980s spoon bender will protect us. Let's be honest. If he can deal with spoons, he can deal with anything. So I've seen you do it with a spoon plenty of times on television, but what I want to know is can you do it with a phone? Okay. I'll try to bend it without touching, obviously. Bend. Bend. <laughs> bend. No. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God, we're in so much.